What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about whether or not I think the Golden State Warriors should, you know, sign Justinian Jessup. Should they really pay that much attention to him at all? Are they still interested in signing him? All of that I will be talking about in this video. Basically, if you guys didn't know who Justin, uh, Justinian Jessup is, basically the Golden State Warriors actually selected him with the 51st pick in the 2020 drop. Now, he wasn't really supposed to be anything or anybody. He was not supposed to really be on the Golden State Warriors. In fact, that actually ended up being the case because they actually sent him down to develop as like a draft and stash player. And they actually sent him down to the Australia League where he ended up signing with the Illawarra Hawks, which is actually the team that LaMelo always played with. So... Justin Ian Jessup did go and play with the Illawarra Hawks, you know, as a person who loves watching the NBL and myself and the Illawarra Hawks are one of my favorite teams, if not probably my favorite team. In fact, I have met LaMelo Ball before, which is absolutely awesome. That's probably the thing that's going to make me go for Illawarra long term. Um, Justin Ian Jessup, I actually have the pleasure of watching it. When he first came in, I thought, oh, who's this kid? Why is he starting? He's done nothing to kind of earn this. I know he got drafted, but he's probably not going to be that good, right? Well, no. He actually came in and did something pretty weird. He came in and led the Illawarra Hawks with Tyler Harvey to the playoffs for, like, the first time in many years, where I believe they actually finished fourth, or... Yeah, I think they finished fourth and did really well. In fact, Justinian Jessup actually blew everyone's predictions away where most people thought he was going to average like seven points per game. He actually came in and averaged nearly 13 and a half points per game while being one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And that's pretty insane when we compare that to LaMelo Ball, who actually averaged 17 points in his first, you know, year with the Illawarra Hawks. So that's a, you know, it's still like a three and a half point difference. And I know LaMelo averaged more assists and all of this stuff, but hey, give credit where credit is due to, you know, Justini and Jessup. He actually had a really good year for the Illawarra Hawks, and then he actually went over and played some summer league ball with the Golden State Warriors and actually played pretty good there too. Now, Justini and Jessup is actually unsigned, I believe. He's not been signed by the Golden State Warriors. I'm not too sure if they're going to go and sign him on a two-way deal or on a normal contract. But here's my issue with Justin Ian Jessup. Justin Ian Jessup, again, is a very, very good player. But I have a lot of issues where I don't think he's going to be able to convert to the NBA. I think the reason why Justin Ian Jessup was so good in the NBA is because the NBA is arguably the best defensive league in the world. The NBL is an insane defensive league where most players in that league prioritize their defense and then usually there's a couple of good scorers here and there. But there's not too many like elite three-point shooters in the NBL. Of course, you know, you look at Chris Golding who plays for the Australian basketball team in the Olympics as well. I'm sure most of you guys have probably heard from him, especially considering he's played like the last three Olympics. He is like a 45% from three shooter. He's, I think, the best in the game, obviously. But when we look at some of the players in the NBL, you looked at Andrew Bogut, who played there. He's such a big defensive dude. You look at Matthew Dallavadova now, who's just signed with Melbourne United. He's more of a defensive-minded player. Uh, the NBL actually recently just signed Makua Maker, which is the brother of Thon Maker, who... Makua Maker's trying to make, you know, trying to get into the NBA, uh, and he's going to play one season. I believe he's signed with the Sydney King, uh, Kings. I believe he's a defensive-minded player, too. A lot of the league's defensive-minded, but the reason Justin Ian Jessup played so good and he stood out was because he was able to come into the team and be, like, their main three-point shooter and be, like, pretty much the only established three-point shooter on the team. Of course, the Hawks' best player, Tyler Harvey, ended up breaking out and becoming an elite three-point shooter. But Justin Ian Jessup, he was just there and he was crazy. And the reason I don't know if you work in the NBA is because there are so many good three-point shooters in the NBA where I don't know if Justin Ian Jessup will really stand out at all as a player because he's not really good at doing anything else besides being a, a catch-and-shoot player. Of course, in the NBA, he was allowed to be a shot creator because 
again, the, the NBL, they, I guess I said, it's mainly a defensive league. There are some shot creators here and there, but again, Justin Ingesser was able to do that in the NBL. He's not going to be able to be a shot creator in the NBA, I don't think. I think he would just be a catch and shoot type dude. And I think considering the Golden State Warriors are looking to like compete and they need veterans, signing Justin Ingesser to like a one year, two year deal would probably not be the greatest thing at all. In fact, I think if they're going to sign him, they should sign him to a two way deal and that should be the minimum. Playing with Steph Curry would be an absolute honor though for Justin and Jessup. And it's playing with this whole Golden State Warriors team. And it show how good the NBL is as a league to produce players like this and to being better and better. Of course, if Justin and Jessup played for any other team in the NBL, he probably wouldn't have been this good. But he went and played with Brian Gorgian in the Illawarra Hawks and he developed really, really nicely. And again, helped the Hawks get to the playoffs. Now the Hawks are becoming in a pretty established NBL team. You know, they've had some famous dudes here and there, it's mainly been LaMelo Ball, who's been one of their big guys. And now Justin and Jessup coming into the NBA will, I'm sure, help the Illawarra Hawks brand. Um, so again, will he make to the NBA? I think a team will sign him to a two-way deal. You just can't ignore his NBL performance. It was too good. But I also feel like in the long term, he should think about going and playing for Illawarra again. I think he was perfect in Illawarra. And I genuinely believe he could be the future Chris Golding of this league, where he averages 45% per season and competes for the like MVP every year. Because again, he's able to be a shot creator in the NBL and he can average you like 20 points per game and whatnot. So, again, as I said, get Justin and Jessup probably to the NBA, but if that doesn't work, he should 100% come and sign back with the Illawarra Hawks. My worry is he signed somewhere else. That would annoy me a little bit, but... If you guys don't, if you're a Warriors fan and you don't know who Chris Goulding is, I highly recommend watching his tapes on YouTube because I think that Justinian Jessup will be a, a similar player to Chris Goulding in the long run. And again, Chris Goulding is one of the best international players in the world right now. So, again, Justinian Jessup has that. And also, I think there's a bright future of him at, at the Illawarra Hawks still if it doesn't work in Golden State. But should the Golden State Warriors sign him? Yes, they should. But only to a two-way deal. Don't go out and get him to a one-year deal. He's still got to prove himself. He probably plays some jet league ball. If he doesn't play good, I'm sure he won't mind too much because the NBL and the Illawarra Hawks will be right there waiting for his return. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest M NBA content, NBA news, all that type of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. And don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already, which I will all link in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.